As you have seen on my channel, I did not finish my Nepra 650 engine, and uh, that is because of the tuppets. As you can see, I have here three sets of tuppets. These are worn out. These are used tuppets, but in very good condition. And these are new. I suspect not original uh, from the factory. But these are new tuppets and uh, I will explain uh, in this video all the problems that I have uh, with the tuppets. So these are the one tuppets, they are not from my engine, as you can see they are pitted. You can see can see the line here you can see the line here where you can compare how much it is worn out this tappet this is the area where it is outside of the engine housing and uh, it is not warning, warning out and from here to here in this area is the area where the tappets it is rolling out because it is entering in that hole on the engine housing and uh, it is moving back and forth and it will warm out in this area as you can see we have 19, 1995 1996, 1994, but it it looks like it is somewhere to 1995, 1996, but below we have 1988, 1990, so we can see this area it is worn out the same also for the other tappets these four tappets are from the same engine i will not use anymore but uh, I'll, i'm keeping them for the for the test and uh, to compare with other uh, the other tappets so one of the first problem is the fact they are not the bird they are not refined on the edges, so you have to do it yourself. It's not very difficult, but also not easy. Another problem is the fact that the new tappets are 20 millimeters. In some cases, it, it is not a bad thing because the the bore inside the the engine house, housing it uh, it might be a little worn out, and uh, because this is 20 millimeter, uh, it will be just fine in, uh, in in that hole. But if you have a good engine housing, like I have, my my engine housing has only a little under 5000 kilometers this it could be uh, too too big for the hole because you need uh, a little tolerance between the tappets and uh, the engine housing even though the engine housing it is uh, aluminium uh, so you should be careful uh, also with these measurements but uh, overall let's say this 20 millimeter it not it is not such a big problem if we consider the fact that uh, almost every Dnepr engine have already enough kilometers in order to need a 20 millimeter tappet. I suspect that the tappet it doesn't have from the factory 20 millimeters because this one it is not worn out. And it has 
1996. Nineteen ninety-seven. In some cases, nineteen ninety-six. So the four thousand of a millimeter should be the tolerance between the engine housing and the tappet. The third problem, and also the biggest one, is the material. I have checked the material with the foil, and this is soft. It is not hard like this one. Or this one I have checked with the file and uh, you can see some signs here from a test in these edges as you can see they are not perfect around anymore because I have tested with the file I have tried to make uh, something and uh, I have partially succeed I was thinking about the heat treatment for these tappets and this one is heat treated and uh, as you can see this is new but now after the heat treatment it does not have the same color with the new ones it has the same color with the older ones so after the heat treatment I have checked with the file and now this tappet it is harder than this one much harder I have to say but in my opinion not hard enough compared with this one or this one so I have to think about if I will heat treat this uh, if I will apply a heat treatment to these tappets and use this one or if I will use this one to be honest I want to use this one because they are original from the factory they have the correct dimensions they are not pitted they have some uh, work signs but they are not pitted they are just good also this one I have rectified a little with the sandpaper and this quite good you cannot feel anything you can see the signs but you cannot feel uh, some worn out uh, spots even before the before I have rectified on the sandpaper you, you cannot you did not feel something on the surface so I am thinking to use these four tappets. Also, I will not throw this. I am thinking to, to apply the heat treatment also for the other three. It is not difficult. I have put them in a, in a fire with some charcoal. I have a, you can find on YouTube, on YouTube how to apply a heat treatment. It, it is easy, it is not difficult. But in order to have a a good heat treatment on a piece you have to also you need also to have a good material and I don't know how good this material it is uh, like I said I have applied on this the heat treatment and it has succeeded but it's still not uh, it, it is not hard like this ones but it is much better than the new one to apply the heat treatment you just have to to make the, the part red okay you put in the fire the best is uh, with the charcoal and when uh, the tappet it is red and it will not stick on a magnet you'll need a magnet in order to test that and uh, when you put on the magnet and you don't feel anything with the tappet red you put in oil and after you put the tappet in oil you will uh, move in the oil like this and uh, you will see how uh, how the material it is changing color and uh, if you you put the file if you make a test with a file on the material you will feel 
that is uh, it is harder after the heat treatment but like i said i have found uh, these four tappets they are still good and uh, i think i will use this these four tappets before assembling i have decided to to rectify the surface in order only in order to be smoother because it was good also before I have made already three tappets but as you can see now they are perfect it is not difficult if you have good tappets it, it is not difficult just need a flat surface sandpaper I am using uh, 150 set sandpaper this is the porosity put some WD-40 and you start rectifying as you can see just a little more and it will be ready almost ready
is okay now it is almost perfect I don't feel anything like I said it was not feeling anything even before but now it's like new now we put a sandpaper of 240 Another six hundred. And now we have quite a smooth surface. It was smooth enough even before, but now can be sure that that is quite good.